So you've downloaded Marvel Spider-Man 2's latest update and you're probably wondering how in the heck can I finally change the tendril colors? That is one of the things that a lot of us were looking forward to being able to do with this update because let's be honest, as cool as the white anti-venom is, the classic black tendrils are the way to go. Well, fear not, it's a very, very simple process. All you need to do is go ahead and first and foremost, complete the story once so that you actually have the tendrils unlocked but then all you will do is pause your game then you're going to press the settings option following that you will press the gameplay option and then you're going to simply scroll all the way to the very bottom of your settings and when you reach the very bottom you will see the tendril color option and then you'll realize you actually have three options available to you so the default setting is the story setting, which will essentially just set the color of the symbiote tendrils based on the story, meaning that earlier in the game, you will have the black tendrils when you are symbiote Spider-Man. And then of course, as the story continues, you will get the white tendrils, which will be accompanied by the anti-venom outfit that you'll be unlocking as you progress through the story. But again, the cool thing is that this update actually does make the option available to you to switch this up as you see fit. So you can actually go ahead and switch your tendril colors to be black, white, or the story option. I do also wanna clarify something because I know some people were wondering about this. I have tested this. The tendril colors will not actually change in many of the cutscenes. So if you're going through the game itself and you're, let's say, changed your tendril color to be white in the earlier parts of the game, like for example, in a battle with Lizard or something like that, you will still have the black tendrils on the character. So even if you try to adjust that, you will not be able to, I guess, influence the cutscenes with this particular option. So this more so affects the gameplay side of things than it does the cutscene side of things. So there you go. A nice simple explanation about how to change your tendril colors in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And if you're wondering about, hey Blitz, how can I possibly change the time of day? I heard that that is part of this update as well. Well, fear not. You can click the video you're currently seeing on your screen and enjoy that simple guide as well.